You don't just get to leap from bright moment to bright moment. How you manage yourself between those bright moments when things aren't going so great is a measure of how devoted you are to your vocation and how equipped you are for the weird demands of creative living. So the question is not so much, what are you passionate about? The question is, what are you passionate enough about that you can endure the most disagreeable aspects of the work? Because if you love and want something enough, whatever it is, then you don't really mind eating the shit sandwich that comes with it. I really, really want to vlog right now, but I also really, really, really don't want to break my face. <laughs> I have gone through a lot of changes in a short amount of time. In the past 10 weeks, I have moved about three times and I have moved twice within those times to different countries. I am now in a place that snows <laughs> and I'm from California, Southern California that is. I have lived in Korea for a while and it does snow there in the winter so this is not completely foreign to me but I'm also living in a very very small town with very little to do. I just am trying to readjust and build my own routine now that I have so much time and the time that I was just yearning for when I didn't have it. <laughs> Usually I love to vlog about what I'm doing and right now I'm not really doing much. I might be reading or doing work online or something like that, but I'm not really going out, especially in this weather. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys a little thing that I plan to do because I'm reading a book by Elizabeth Gilbert, but for anyone who needs some inspiration on living your life and getting through fear, I definitely recommend the book Big Magic. I will also link some other books that I'm reading to kind of help me get through this time of change. <laughs> you might feel like you're losing inspiration for this one thing you're doing and the trick is to start doing something different. You can keep doing what you're doing or you can put it on hold but at the same time do something different and that can bring back your inspiration. So I'm going to be posting more on Instagram and more on my blog posts. I am really, really getting into flat lay photography. I really like the look of flat lay photographs. So be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want to see some of the new things that I'm getting into. On my channel, I will be sharing with you guys some of my thoughts and experiences. The best thing that I can do for myself is to feed my brain. <laughs> my point is, if there's something that you are struggling with, you feel like you're losing your inspiration, try something different. Be sure to subscribe on my website. There is a subscription link at the bottom. What you need to do is subscribe so that every time I post, you can be notified. It's a lot easier that way. That way you can keep up to date on my blog posts. I am going to be in Denmark for a few more months and I do have plans to go somewhere else. I'm also just trying to enjoy this in-between period where I'm just trying to enjoy the downtime even though it can be kind of discouraging but it's still very beautiful to pull myself out of my funk and my uninspired moment I have been taking time to do self-care this includes taking baths creating new things for my website and for my YouTube channel and just doing things that make me feel a lot better So let me know, what do you do to get inspired? Because sometimes I just don't feel like, you know, sticking stuff up there. <laughs> 